As of last month, over 60% of the United States was experiencing <laughs> drought conditions still. In my state of Illinois, over 90% of the land is still abnormally dry or worse. Economists now predict that the drought will cost the government over $12 billion in aid to farmers and ranchers. This is in addition to the cost of destruction caused in late October by Hurricane Sandy, the largest hurricane to ever form in the Atlantic Basin. It's estimated that Sandy will cost almost $80 billion in federal funding for the replacement of homes, infrastructure, and buildings. Combined, the drought in Sandy will cost the federal government tens of billions of dollars at a time when we're talking about our debt. It's the job of Congress and the administration to help these Americans in time of need. Make no mistake about it. We should. We will. But we need to be honest about how we plan for disaster spending. During the last decade, the United States has experienced twice as many record high temperatures as record lows, and scientists project that record highs will outnumber record lows 20 to 1 by the year 2050. In May, NOAA reported that America has just lived through the hottest 12 months ever recorded. And even before Sandy and the droughts this year, the United States was still recovering from extreme weather events of last year. In February last year, Chicago was shut down with two feet of snow and 60 mile an hour winds when a blizzard hammered the city. It caused 36 deaths, stranded 1,500 people on Lakeshore Drive, which I go back and forth on every day and still find it hard to imagine. 1,500 people stuck on Lakeshore Drive. It resulted in $3.9 billion in losses. April was the wettest April in 116 years in the Midwest forcing the Mississippi and Missouri rivers to flood thousands of square miles. This is 2011 I'm talking about. There were 326 tornadoes in May through the mid throughout the Midwest and southern U.S., resulting in the deadliest May since 1933. Wildfires burned 3 million acres of property across the western states, causing over a billion dollars in damages, and Hurricane Irene devastated the Atlantic coast, causing 4.3 billion in damage a very small amount compared to Sandy, but significant still for those affected. Nationwide, the financial consequences of weather-related disasters and climate change hit a historic new high last year. U.S. disasters cost over $55 billion in damages. Federal, state, and local governments are paying out more every year in damages and lost productivity. So the question is, as we as a government, what are we going to do about this?